Forbes has just listed AI cloud engineer as one of the top 10 hottest AI jobs for 2025. And in between the numbers, there's something hidden in front of us that nobody is talking about. Right now, there's a massive shift happening in tech. Companies are desperately racing to build AI systems, but they are hitting a major roadblock. They can't find engineers who understand both AI and cloud infrastructure. But how desperate are they? The numbers are staggering. There is currently 5,000 open positions for AI cloud engineers, yet only 890 monthly searches for this role. For every person searching for an AI cloud engineering job, there are five positions waiting to be filled. But here is where it gets really interesting. While everyone is fighting over the standard AI and machine learning jobs, where there are four people competing for every single position, AI cloud engineering roles are sitting empty. So, you know, what does this mean? This is the biggest opportunity in tech right now. The competition for AI cloud engineering roles is incredibly low, while the rewards are very lucrative, with average salaries topping over $120,000 a year, but it won't last forever. As more people discover this hidden gold mine, the five to one ratio will disappear quickly. So, if you want to seize this golden opportunity and become an AI cloud engineer, where would you even start? What does an AI cloud engineer actually do? And most importantly, how do you position yourself to grab one of these roles before everyone else catches on? Hi, I'm Suleiman. I've spent over a decade in tech, and today I help companies scale and secure their cloud infrastructure on AWS. And if there's one thing that's taken me years to learn, it's this. Most people are either stuck in certifications collecting mindset or they're in a tutorial hell, never taking any decisive action. And that's what most of my students tell me before they join my academy. And here is the advice that I give to them. To truly stand out in today's job market, you need to understand what businesses actually need and then position yourself as a person who can deliver it. The opportunity right now is clear. Companies are sitting on mountains of data, but there is a problem. They lack engineers who can turn all of this potential into real business value. And this is why AI AI cloud engineers are so valuable because they can build AI solutions that save hundreds of hours, drive millions in revenue, and create highly personalized experiences that keep their customers coming back. I'm going to show you exactly how to become one of these highly paid engineers using my proven four-phase blueprint. You'll discover the exact technical skills that companies are desperately hiring for. I'll show you how to build your first AI cloud project, even if you have zero experience. You'll learn which tools and frameworks will put you ahead of 99% of our applicants. And most importantly, you'll see how to position yourself to land these six-figure roles. So by the end of this video, you won't just know what an AI cloud engineer does, you'll have a clear roadmap to becoming one of the most in-demand professionals in tech today. By the way, you can join over 11,000 engineers accelerating their cloud journey and grab my free cloud engineering starter pack linked in the description. All right, so most people fail to become engineers because they start in the wrong place they jump straight into AI frameworks and complex cloud services, missing the foundation that makes everything else possible. So in order to build AI cloud projects, you need to start at IT and cloud fundamentals, specifically Linux the backbone of cloud computing. Nearly every AI system you build will run on Linux servers, so you'll learn to use the command line and learn how to write simple scripts to automate repetitive tasks. This naturally will lead into networking, where you discover how these Linux servers communicate with each other using IP addresses and how to keep them secure with firewalls and VPNs. And as you're working with these systems, you'll need somewhere to store data. And that's where databases come in. You'll learn both SQL for structured data, think of customer information or inventory, and NoSQL databases for more flexible storage needs. And finally, you'll tie this all together with virtualization, which lets you create multiple virtual servers from a single physical machine, the technology that makes cloud computing possible in the first place. And with these IT fundamentals under your belt, we have to choose a cloud platform. And I recommend AWS because it's the market leader and offers the most job opportunities. They also provide an extensive free tier perfect for learning and experimenting without having to worry about any of the costs. Now in AWS, you need to understand five essential services that work together. And don't worry, we're going to implement AI in just a moment. But for now, 
covering EC2, which gives you the virtual servers where you can run your applications. These applications often need storage, which is where S3 comes in. Think of it as an unlimited cloud storage for any files and folders or images and videos. To keep everything secure, you need identity and access management, which lets you control who can access what. And you know, we mentioned SQL and NoSQL databases earlier. In AWS, you'll need to learn the equivalents of RDS and DynamoDB. And finally, VPC brings this all together by providing you your own private network in the cloud where you can organize your resources exactly how you want. Now, I know some of you might be worried about coding, but you shouldn't be. Yes, you do need to know how to write code, but also you need to know what the lines of code that you write and review in code base even mean. So you can't skip this step. You have to learn it. Now, this will take time and some experience, but this is a journey rather than a destination. Now, as an AI cloud engineer, you need to be comfortable with writing in Python and Terraform. These are your essential tools for automation and infrastructure management. Now, while you're learning these services, you should also get your AWS certifications, especially if you're coming from a non-technical background. You want to start with a cloud practitioner and then go into the AI practitioner. Then you want to move onto the solution architect associate before going to AWS security speciality. This is a very nice and clean roadmap. Now, I do also recommend you looking at the machine learning associate certification as a bonus, but just remember these certificates should be seen as complementary to your learning and not your main focus. Now, I'm personally going for these certifications myself, so I only recommend to you guys what I do myself. Now, before we get to building AI cloud projects, I need to give you some context on AI infrastructure, what it is and how it's different to regular cloud infrastructure. Now, regular cloud infrastructure is what powers most of the internet today. When you use Netflix, check your email or browse Instagram, you're using regular cloud infrastructure. It runs on standard computers, CPUs, organized in data centers, handling things like storing your photos, processing payments, or running websites. But AI infrastructure is completely different. While regular cloud handles everyday tasks, AI systems need much more power because they are processing massive amounts of data and doing all of these complex math calculations at once. Think of analyzing millions of images or understanding human language, tasks that need serious computing power. And this is why AI systems need specialized computers with powerful GPUs. Now, AWS provides these as P4 instances. They're essentially high performance machines built for AI workloads. And there is three key things that make AI infrastructure unique. The first one is computing power which we just mentioned. You need specialized GPU machines to handle AI tasks efficiently. The second one is network speed. Since AI moves huge amounts of data around the world, you need extremely fast networks to keep everything running smoothly. And finally, storage. AI works with massive data sets. We're talking about terabytes or even petabytes. This data needs to be stored in data lakes and properly prepared before AI can even use it. Now, as an AI cloud engineer, you'll design these systems, manage your GPU infrastructure, create secure data pipelines whilst keeping costs under control. Now that you understand the foundation, let's get to building your first real AI project. So for phase two, we're going to start a simple, small project that shows you how to piece everything together. Terraform, AWS, and AI. Now, you might be wondering why we're using Terraform instead of clicking around in the AWS console. Now, as an engineer, you will never be clicking around the console and writing infrastructure because in the real world, you need to be able to deploy and update your infrastructure reliably. Anyone that tells you otherwise has no idea what they're doing, especially the ones on YouTube. Imagine manually setting up all your AI systems by clicking buttons on the AWS console. Three months later, when you need to recreate that same setup, you won't be able to recreate it as there's no record of what you've done. So please, please, please do not spend any time making infrastructure for a real project using the AWS console. I know there's loads of people on YouTube showing the tutorials of how to build an EC2 and you know what, it's fine to get familiar with the console. But in the real world, when you're working on projects, you will not be clicking around and building infrastructure with the console. You'll be writing it as code, specifically with infrastructure as code. So please, please, please don't watch any videos that show you how to use the AWS console to build a cloud project. It's fine initially, so you get familiarity with that service, but if you wanna build a real project for a portfolio, 
you have to use IAC. So for our AI cloud project, we'll spin up cloud infrastructure piece by piece using Terraform. Firstly, we'll create a VPC with subnets and an internet gateway to have access to the internet. Then we'll create an S3 bucket for storage and set up your IAM role with just enough permissions to make things work with Amazon Bedrock and S3. Amazon Bedrock is AWS's AI service. Now, as everything is defined in code, you can version control it and recreate it exactly the same way every single time. Now for this project, we'll work with some simple text data, maybe a blog post or user feedback logs. You'll store all of this data in S3 and use Amazon Bedrock to process it. This data will be a knowledge base. Bedrock will give you access to powerful pre-trained AI models through simple API calls. Think of it as sending a request and then getting AI response back. No need to build an AI from scratch. We'll use Bedrock to summarize the text or do some analysis. Now to bring it all together, you need to write a Python script that handles this workflow, uploading the text to S3, making API calls to Bedrock for processing, and then saving the results back to S3. And because this is a real world setup, we'll implement proper security controls, encrypting the S3 bucket and using the least privileged IAM policies for all of our Bedrock calls. Now, when you finish this project, you'll have built your first AI powered pipeline in the cloud, a production ready environment that connects infrastructure, storage, AI models, and also your code. And by the way, if you want to start building projects today, then I do want to tell you that I'm running a special cohort right now, and we're taking in new students for my Cloud Engineer Academy. If you're ready to take action, just like Jay Martinez, who got laid off as a banker and got cloud hired in just a few months, or Mac, who after joining my academy, landed a systems engineer role at AWS, then click the link in the description and book a call with my team. But just know that this isn't for everyone because it's not possible for us to bring on, you know, 100 people at once because the spots are limited and also the demand is really high right now and cloud is booming. So we want to make sure we can actually help the people that we bring on. So if you're interested, go book a call and see if you qualify for our special AI cloud cohort. Now, before we dive into building advanced AI cloud projects, you need to understand how modern AI systems are structured. So there are three connected layers that all work together to create an AI application that people actually use like ChatGPT. And understanding each layer is important because they impact one another. If one layer isn't working properly, the whole system can break down. So number one, we have the infrastructure layer. This is the foundation that everything runs on. The specialized GPU servers, high speed networks, and storage systems that we discussed earlier. Without solid infrastructure, none of these AI capabilities above it can function properly. Number two, the model layer. This is where all the AI intelligence lives. The LLMs, the large language models, or even custom models built for specific business needs. Models need MLOps systems to automatically maintain up Date them as new data comes in. They also use RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation, to access company data, making their responses more accurate and relevant. Number three, the application layer. This is what most people actually interact with. Like when you use ChatGPT, scroll in Netflix, and you see their TV show recommendations. Now, while as a user, you never see the infrastructure or the models underneath, these applications can only be as good as the layers supporting them. And these layers are all dependent on each other for performance. So if the infrastructure is slow, the applications will be slow. If the models are maintained correctly, the applications won't give you a good response. That's why we need to understand and build each layer carefully. Now you've already set up a basic AI pipeline at the beginning of phase one, connecting infrastructure, storage, and AI models. It's time to take things further, but automating the entire process. And this is where ML Ops machine learning operations comes in. Earlier, we manually ran the workflow, uploading data to S3, calling AI models through Amazon Bedrock, and saving the results. But imagine your data is constantly updating, like new customer feedback or daily sales logs. Manually handling this every time would be a nightmare, especially if the AI model needs retraining as patterns in the data start to evolve. With machine learning operations or ML ops, we can automate the entire life cycle. So the new data arrives in S3. The pipeline will automatically kick things off. Then the data gets prepared. The pipeline cleans, transforms, or formats the data as needed. Then the model is updated. If necessary, the pipeline will retrain the model using the new data. Then the updated version is tested and automatically rolled out. This means you don't have to manually manage updates, it just works, adapting to changes in real time. Now for this project, we'll build on what you created in phase two. Now you already have the VPC, the IAM roles, and S3 storage. We'll expand on this by integrating a SageMaker pipeline to handle the machine learning workflows. And instead of only calling the pre-trained models through Bedrock, you'll now train 
create and deploy your own simple AI model. The pipeline will automatically trigger when new data is uploaded to S3, retraining and redeploying the model without any manual input. With your infrastructure in place and an automated MLOps pipeline running, we're now going to be making the AI smarter by connecting it to business data. The next stage is all about RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation. We built a pipeline using Amazon Bedrock to process text data with pre-trained models, and these models were powerful, but they didn't have any knowledge of your business. So you already have S3 set up as a storage system, but now you use it to store your company's internal documents, policies, and manuals, customer logs, or any technical specification. Also, the pipeline that we made earlier in phase two you know, the one that processed text data with Amazon Bedrock. Here, you enhance it by adding a vector database using AWS OpenSearch to make the documents searchable by AI. A vector database just means that your AI can now find and retrieve specific information from your data before using a model like Claude to craft answers. And here's how we're going to build it in three simple steps. Firstly, you want to start by taking your documents and turning them into embeddings. By the way, you can just generate documents in ChatGPT for this part. Then you want to load these embeddings into OpenSearch Index, where they'll be organized for efficient retrieval. Then you want to connect OpenSearch to your existing Bedrock-based pipeline. When a query comes in, the system will search your data for relevant documents, pass the results to the language model to generate an accurate context-aware response. Now, so far, your AI has been great at answering questions and handling tasks. But what if it could work independently planning, making decisions, and executing complex workflows without constant oversight. This is where AI agents come into play. AI agents combine the intelligence of large language models with the ability to interact with tools, access APIs, and take meaningful actions or automatically. They go beyond just chatbots and become systems that can actually get things done. In this phase, you'll build an AI agent that automates the end-to-end -end business workflow. For example, you could create an agent that pulls market data, analyzes it for anomalies, and sends a Slack alert with its findings. Building on your existing pipeline with this agent will call APIs to gather the information it needs. Using Python and a connected LLM, it will process the data to identify patterns, anomalies, and or trends like finding underperforming products or seasonal spikes. It will then generate detailed reports, upload them to S3, and then distribute them directly to the team members. Or it can notify them via email or Slack. To orchestrate this, you can use Amazon Bedrock agents. This enables your agent to work seamlessly across different tasks. That said, while these systems are incredibly powerful, they must also be secure and reliable. So you'll set up access controls, and we use IM roles to control exactly what each part of the system can and cannot do, setting specific permissions for who can access data or run certain processes. Everything your AI does gets tracked in CloudWatch. This means if something goes wrong, you can see exactly what happened and fix it quickly. And the reason why this matters is because AI agents are the future of every industry. And this project prepares you to work at the intersection of cloud engineering, AI, and security. And by combining AI intelligence, workflow automation, and strong security practices, you are creating a production-ready solution that aligns with real business needs and drives real business value. Now. Phase three is taking your new skills to the real world. So here is where I see the biggest opportunities and most importantly, how to actually capture them. Every business is drowning in data, but very few know how to use it. And this is your leverage point. While other engineers are focused on building complex AI systems, the real value is in something simpler but more impactful. Helping businesses understand and use their data to create personalized experiences for their customers. Take an e-commerce website. Most sites still show you the same products for everyone. But imagine building a system that learns from each customer's behavior and interactions and creates a completely personalized shopping experience. Or look at customer service. Small businesses are struggling with basic support tickets. Building an AI system that can handle common questions and root complex issues to the right people, that's immediately saving them money and improving the customer satisfaction. And the key is that you don't pitch the technology, you pitch the business impact and the business value. Nobody cares about your rack systems, your cloud infrastructure, or your machine learning pipelines. Instead, tell them that you can help them understand why their customers are leaving before, let's say, September and help them predict it for next year or predict which products will sell out for the next season or which products will be super popular for Black Friday. Maybe you can automate all their support 
bot to handle 80% of the tickets automatically. Now, while everyone else is using generic AI models, you can build specific systems tailored to business data and their needs. And that's where I see the biggest opportunity right now is in customization of businesses and their services. And this is where the real value is. In 2024, this is where the biggest paychecks will come from. And if you want to learn AWS, then click this video right here to watch my brand new course that I've released, which takes you from complete beginner to expert A to Z and everything that you need to know.